Combeam CT imaging technology has provided clinicians with an unparalleled appreciation of the patient's anatomy through the many views made available with interactive treatment planning software. The use of Combeam CT imaging modalities takes us beyond the two-dimensional x-ray with three-dimensional volumes which can rotate freely in all planes and where teeth and their roots can be visualized separately from the bone, aiding in the diagnostic phase. This, coupled with proper 3D diagnosis and interactive treatment planning software, provides clinicians with a new digital workflow that is streamlined by 3D Diagnostics turnkey solution and allows for true restoratively driven implant reconstruction. Implant planning can then begin using highly advanced interactive treatment planning software. The tools available in implant planning software can help you and guide you through the treatment planning process by making it easier to place the implants into the receptor sites so that they would be surrounded by the most available bone. Once the virtual implant placement has been completed, the surgical template is then designed virtually using the powerful design tools in the software. This example shows the design of a toothborne template for a single tooth implant, incorporating an optical scan of the patient's maxillary arch superimposed on the comb beam CT dataset. The integration of new software tools combined with intraoral or desktop optical scanners have provided the link between the diagnosis, surgical, and restorative phases to the implant treatment. By merging the datasets, it is now possible to accurately design custom abutments for either immediate transitional restorations when implants are stable during placement or delayed loading after osteointegration has been achieved. In order to achieve the proper emergence profile, it is necessary to capture the existing intraoral soft tissue contours and the morphology of adjacent teeth. Special CAD CAM software can then be used to design a custom abutment in titanium or zirconia to support the desired shape of the virtual teeth. The implant position is therefore based upon the ultimate restorative outcome. At the time of implant surgery, the toothborne template will be securely seated onto the maxillary teeth to provide for accurate sequential drilling protocols with the proper drill keys. The implant can then be delivered to the receptor site with confidence, avoiding adjacent vital anatomical structures. If the bone is adequate and the implant is found to be stable enough for an immediate restoration, the previously fabricated CAD-CAM abutment can be positioned onto the implant, followed by the transitional crown. In this example, the implant, abutment, and transitional restoration were placed in one minimally invasive visit.